we are covering all the topics that concerns macroeconomics fifth topic is stagflation in the 1970s recession or stagnation was accompanied by not only the high unemployment but also rapid inflation which has been described as stagflation stagflation refers to a period of high unemployment and recession or stagflation coexisted with high inflation so stagflation you can see mathematically is equal to high unemployment plus recession plus inflation this is stagflation there is high unemployment that is there are less employment opportunities there is recession because growth of the gdp is declining or is in negative there is inflation there is high prices of basic goods and services this stagflation could not be explained with the keynes theory why because keynes focuses on short period and demand side this stagflation could not be explained with keynes theory which focuses on the demand side therefore a economic thought which is called supply side economics emerged which explained stagflation by laying stress on the supply side of economic activity so if you want to understand stagflation then we will have to take supply side economics into consideration supply side economics theories and there are two beautiful pictures left picture tells us the basic understanding of stagflation you can see the tracks of the roller coaster in inflation tracks are in increasing direction you can assume the roller coaster as a gdp growth so in inflation gdp growth may rise that is why we say that sometimes inflation is better for economic development because it goes side by side with economic growth after in the stagflation the gdp growth stopped and you can say see this straight track which means there is no growth it is stable then in the deflation the growth declines so this is about recession this is about the growth of the gdp is in negative so by this figure picture you can understand that stagflation there is inflation plus recession plus high unemployment in the right picture you can see the causes of stagflation there is inflation the prices of basic goods and services are very high low gdp the gdp is in negative or the growth of the gdp is in negative this is called recession high rate of unemployment there are 
less employment opportunities. Recession in most of the economic activities. Other goods. Other than the basic goods. Basic goods like food, shelter, electricity. These are basic necessities. So, during the time of recession, a common person will spend on basic goods and he will sacrifice his other expenditure, luxurious expenditure for basic goods consumption because he need food and water to survive. Poor implementation of government policies and yes poor implementation of government policies are there which leads to recession and therefore stagflation. So in this topic we understood what is stagflation and why stagflation is important in micro economics.